I am a fourth generation family member. My full name is Viraj Kantilal Lad. Been in the business almost 20 years now. And uh, grew up working in the business just like Jish. And my uncles and uh, father. And uh, I finished my studies at USP. And then I worked in insurance industry for a good three years. And uh, then I joined the business. And I did my MBA. And ever since, been here and uh, growing the family business. Yeah. So I'm born and brought up here. Um, and then uh, I did my engineering degree in uni uh, Oakland University. So I worked there in the engineering field. And then, just like Viraj, um, worked through the life of till form seven we were still opening the shops closing the shops doing the whole 10 yards sundays and everything and then we ran away to the university you know he did something else and i did something else i went totally in a tangent to the business nothing um and did engineering um and i worked in new zealand and then um, and then we we got convinced back in 2005-2006 to join the business mm -hmm. and when we joined the business um, uh, we, we had some goals and missions mm -hmm. um, and to be proud and we can say we, we've achieved 99% of our goals mm -hmm. and we're still growing mm -hmm. so haven't looked back since then 2006 I joined back in the business So history goes back to early 1920s yes. when our great grandfather came into Fiji, uh, Prabhu Bai Hira. I'll show you some photos in the office. I've got all the ancestors' photos. So he came in, he was staying in Nosori for a bit and then Suva Flex Staff for a very short term. And then he moved to Bar because the sugar mill was here. And um, he learned how to make sweets in South Africa in Durban. Yes, so the sweets we have in Fiji is different to India. The main co-ingredient is milk. In India they use buffalo milk uh, and that's quite thick. So they'll make it using that. Uh, over here we don't have the luxury of uh, fresh milk to make sweets. So powdered milk was the way to go. So South Africa used that and the Indians who went there, they adopted their way of making. So he learned it there and came back to India and then he came to Fiji. And then he adopted his younger brother's eldest son. Um, the process of adoption is called Bikno in Gujarati. And that's how the name Bika came. That's our core business. Yeah. And then they had tailoring business also. And then later they added the groceries. Yeah. And then the grocery business grew. And that's where the whole business building came up with the grocery business. Right. Yeah. But the sweets business was still the core business. We did back in 2006 till today right. is bring consistency into the products, right. uh, bring availability, uh, bring and staying true to our words. If yeah. we said it is, it is. Right. We don't back down from what we said. Right. And our customer service is, is we keep up to it. If they, you know, uh, whatever it is, we stay by, stick by it. Until 2009, we were only in Ba. In 2009, we went into Nendi. 2012, we opened in Suva. Yes. Uh, 2017 we opened at Taku City, Lotoka, and then 2021 we opened in Village 6 in Suva, and this year we opened in Lombasa. And we've got presence on our website as well through e-commerce, so a lot of customers have ordered online and we've been shipping it door-to-door -door through DHL Express and they can track their shipment too. So being easily able to reach us, that was the biggest thing. I think the other big challenge I have personally for myself is uh, when I go over to my graveyard, I need to be proud that I did something different and I did better, I did, I was able to carry the flag Take given, uh, handed over to my by my forefathers, and I can hand it over to somebody else here. I brought it up to here. Your job is now to take it to next level, because they gave us the foundation. 
we couldn't be here today mm. if they did not give us the foundation true, true. so you know but if i am just comfortable just sit here they give us all the stuff and be comfortable there is no challenge in that eh? Uh, I think that's the thing that you've got to be able to wake up to every morning. Yes. Uh, Felix, I just want to add, uh, I went, when I went to India first, I went to our village right. back in India. And I saw where we came, came from. And that instant feeling of gratitude just came. Uh, n uh, naturally, all the immigrants who came into this country, they all worked very hard and uh, they gave us a better life. And it's through this business, making sweets. And growing up, we, we, we sold sweets as kids and we grew up with no intention to join the business, by the way. <laughs> but there was a turning point. And it was about saying thank you for what we have and at the same time understanding what the products that we sell makes a difference to other people who actually share. So in simple terms, it was about sharing joy. When people say, when they know that we from Baker by family, they talk about our product. There's something that's so that itself, making someone happy yes. through your product, yes. I mean, that's mission accomplished. Yes.